just I want to mention very special things. This, one. this seven year, very short, short time of period. But the, the purpose of the Lord Jesus is so massive. First established this church seven years ago. It's a hari puduma arambek. As a family, we are ready to move to from Quebec to Ontario 2016 August. We all ready to do everything has have to move to move to Ontario. Those days I, I, I was working with the Fosca Gospel Church in Canada. So our first single is church already in corporate to establish that's also so miracle work. It happened 2008 October. Actually 2007 September, Sister Tamara's house, we are gathered together as a once again group to, to start that ministry. But 10 years after, almost 10 years, our calling, because of our brother-in-law, Pastor John Vijayaratnam, he purposely brought us to Canada to work with him to the Lord in Toronto. Signal his ministry, he is doing internal ministry in Toronto. So, but the immigration reason, we came to Montreal to those days so fast in immigration matter in, 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 in Dan, Ontario, in Quebec. But we didn't go back to Ontario. Because three years got our immigration here and finished almost because of the 9-11 ha was happened in USA. The, those are things uh, very late finished our immigration hearing after three years. So we familiar with the Quebec and the Montreal situation. When our brother-in-law called us to come back, now you are finished your immigration. He said we are uh, decide we were decided to stay. Montreal. He said upset. He got upset. He really he was he want to us to go there. Those days we are we are fellowship we were fellowship with the evangelic evangelic church evangelical church in downtown uh, Atwater evangelical Pentecostal church hundred years old church ten years we were. Members in that church. One day, Pastor Joe Fernandez called to me. We have a, so many group churches that mean Hispanic church group, Filipino church group, Vietnamian church group. There are many kind of languages group of people gathering together. They are doing separate ministries. So he knows Sri Lankan community also strong in Montreal. One day he called me, Ranjit, why you are not starting in, with, uh, with us, with, uh, in single Swiss Oh, that's the seven years after I first time got that kind of calling. I don't want to start any more ministry or help or ministry as I look after my family, stay some church backside. That's that's my deciding. That's I. That's why I decided to come to Canada. Seven years almost we were in evangelical, evangelical Pentecostal church, just doing something, helping people, assuring something, doing their supporting their ministry work. But that calling changed everything. That calling came the one of the Sunday, Sunday 2007. That same evening, we are fellowship with the one of the Tamil church in Jiva Dipati, Prince of Life Christian Church. This church, those days in not here, some some other some other place. We after evangelic Pentecostal church morning service, we are evening we are coming to this church with, with our daughter Rachel. She's just one year old because we need that Sri Lankan fellowship. That's why we came to after four o'clock. They are starting service. That's like us. 
there is a pastor, Pastor Benjamin Seban, that church, that same evening, Pastor Joe Ferrandes called to me, come and start Sinhalese Fellowship Group. He asked me, Pastor, so many Sinhalese are scattered here. They are, they are not going to churches while you are not doing something with them. Before Pastor Benjamin shared his heart, so Tamara also going same days, same time for the evangelical church. And we were met her first time over there, 2001, 2002, in church, at Tota Pentecostal Church. She asked, Ranjit, uh, so many Sinhalese, they are everywhere, they are Catholic, they are, they are not going to even the Buddhist temple. Why you are not coming and do something for them? Even though she didn't know, I did ministry in Sri Lanka. She didn't know. We didn't share those things. At the heart of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is good. And one year after Pastor Benjamin called. So then I have to decide I am going to obey to Pastor Joffen. And this is a Jewish converted Christian man, pastor in an evangelical Christian Pentecostal church. Oh, Pastor Benjamin. And I talked with my wife. Mostly the, our hearts goes to the pastor Benjamin side because he's Sri Lankan pastor. So many weeks after. Not only Sri Lankan pastor, he has the, started the ministry also with the Sri Lankan Tamil and Singer group. And he started the Tamil ministry. And then he knows also a lot of Singer is moving. That's why we thought that. Yeah. Pastor Joe's known, but Pastor Benjamin knows. Most of the So we change our hearts. Actually, the, we obey to firstly Pastor Go. We start single ministry in Avenger, Avenger Pentecostal Church. There is a group called that the program called uh, Alpha. They are invited to single people to come. I still remember first meeting came uh, Malina Hangama and and, and Don Virakuri, these other two people came to that uh, Alpha program, Evangelical Pentecostal Church. So we already started, then we decided to go with Pastor Benjamin. That first meeting, 2007, <coughs> September 17, Friday, Sadamara's house, we were gathered to give the many school. 2007, September 17, Friday. That's the start of the first single church and with the first of the first gospel church in Canada, Corporate Group. So the story comes short. 2016 we decided to hand over to that minister associated pastor, Pastor Herbyakni Manan, to leave that church to go to Toronto. At that time, Sister Varmi and Brother Vishwan, Brother Rohan Dilemage. And Mr. Sadamni, and Brother Vimal Dehikas Pagis, the rain car, and the children, and Susanta Tantirigi. They were got upset, they were asking us to write us to decide those kind of things. Why do I want to go to Toronto? You are leaving, the sheep are here. You think it's good purpose to go? You are leaving sheep here. I thought I'm not leaving without. Uh, um, without a uh, shepherd. Yeah, it's a shepherd. Pastor Hoviak Nimana. One day, Satamara's house, exactly, I didn't remember that day. This whole family, five families came once again together and asked me to don't go to Toronto, don't move to Toronto. He stayed here. Okay, now you already hand over to the Pastor Herbie. You cannot do anything in that ministry. Start the new, new things for us, for our groups. He said, it's so hard. Because I already decided the school already we went and do the children's school and things like that. It's so hard. Actually, that meeting that day, people uh, left uh, without uh, not good mood. My also heart not good because this request, I thought, unnecessary request. People are asking me because this is also God's desire to leave from this church and Montreal and Quebec to go to Toronto and help my brother-in-law's ministry. 
They are all, they are also ministry. Yeah. So I said to them before that I left Sadamara's house, give me a time. I need to ask God and pray with the God. Time and then I call you what the, my decide, the decision. Uhumai e maha abihoge ta pamona dunni seven years ta chali me church ka parangana on a karma. Wonderful days, but the Indica's uncle has a, one of the house he wants to solve it in uh, Pierphone. Uh, but the, because of the, the Indica, we 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 friend with him. So he said he moved to Toronto. He wants to solve that house. He I asked the Indica, I need a quiet place to go and pray. Can I use your uncle's house in Pierphone? He asked and he told me, okay, you can go. So I started after that, they giving answer. 21 days every morning, I brought my children to school and the wife to office. I'm going to 20 kilometer west side and tear fund and coming back to get the children from the school to work o'clock. 21 days I went there and prayed, asking God, this is the will, what is the will, what you your desire? Doesn't come any answer. Every day, 40 kilometers up and down, I went and coming and back. So this story came one, one end. That question came to my heart. One day, this month when I was praying, I thought that question came from divinity to Jesus. What he asked me, who are you man? You. Who are you to stop my desire when I need this? When I want this, who you are? How the umh? Magi ada hasan awat tan. Mata orang kerana deh pratiksha perjalanan. This is the answer I got it 21 days after. I I got really upset because I want to go to Toronto. I don't want to stay here. But now Jesus said, you have to give you a hand to start this fellowship because the red test, not them, not come from them, is that red test from my Jesus red test came from them. So now what I have to do? I call them to all the five people. 2017, January 28th, Saturday, same place, this place, they all gathered together and we discussed to start the fellowship. I said to them, okay, I want to give the hand to you. But I didn't say them to. I remember Sir Varun asked, Aye, why are you in an I didn't do the correct answer because I want to go. But now Jesus said to something to me. Next Sunday, we discussed with the pastor, Jayendra Mithin upstairs. You know we are not in ministry these days. We left the, our first ministry. So we are just staying, going to uh, Emmanuel Church uh, in the north of Montreal. Pastor Saiji Matthew over there is a cake from Kerala, India. Wonderful, marvelous servant of God. Every Sunday we are going to Emmanuel Church, Italian Pentecostal church. So Pastor Jaya Ingundo called, Pastor Benjamin called to me, Pastor come and help our ministry not to go to this man of God or servant of God, this state is born. This is so tempted. It's going to, you're going to come to that tempted from Satan. So not, not to stay like that. He went to Pastor Jaya's house and discussed, he called us to come and join him. So that matter we called to Pastor Jaya, he said, okay, Pastor, we don't need any penny from you. Come to upstairs. Start with the your group. Just pray. Stay over there. Just stay. Pray. And give me an answer. We would like to keep you as the single pastor to minister to with us. So I share with this idea of a fellowship group. So and we pray. And we are doing every Sunday now, 4 o'clock upstairs for our church work. These five people 
Uh, coming Monday, I remember Buddha Lakshan family also came and fellowship. We didn't call them to, they are going to go those days in Pastor Herbie's church, our previous church. So they, we don't want to call them to come and join because this is so, so, so complicated matter because we don't want to stay here. We don't want to start anything. We want to go. But they are not me. Don't go. First month, second month, third month, fourth month. This going time, my mother, I still remember, Sister Varunis, that question always come to me. Aye, you are not going. Why are you Don't go. The minister, four months, five months, give me. But still, we are working with the moving. Moving matter, we working, they don't know. That's the God. Wow, but if he wants you to do for him to work, he doesn't care how many engagement, how many responsibility you have, you need to go, you need to move, he has a he chose you and he called you. He yeah. can't say no. That's the way. They don't say, can they be loved? They don't say, can they be loved? I'll be back here. 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 I want to thank and praise God for all the seven years here. But our ministry not seven is more than seven. Thirty years, you can say, in Sri Lanka. But I never thought we will come here and start a ministry in one year. But God, there is a darkness. You have to start. You have to give light and you have to give the salt. That is the word God gave us. We have to give the light and salt. We saw the light the way But I can tell so many things about the people. First thing I want to say to the Lakshan. Lakshan didn't come to church. Lakshan came. Okay, when I put one up, I get a certificate, a single day, and I got English wedding. That's why Lakshan came and made me. But we translated the singular to English, and finally, we gave the good news for Lakshan. And I'm very happy. They are moving, but I'm very happy that they are accepted the Jesus Christ. and. Uh, with his love, they came to our church, did a lot of things, and we are moving to Toronto, and we are going to start a lot of things in Toronto. Same thing the second month, Susanda will come. Susanda came with the tears and said, Aya Akka, I got the deportation, my Andayanama, but I have a lot of things to finish. I start a lot of things. What can I do? He said, we have faith in God. Our God, Lord Jesus Christ, will help you. Come, the Lord will help you. Now, he's a citizen. He didn't go back to Sri Lanka. I want to thank and praise God. And the third thing, a lot of things are here. But the third thing, uh, to the, uh, I, I think, Rosie Tamara Ladanawa, Ramia, she came with the tears, but she is not Christian or anything, but she came with the tears. She needs something. But now, two or three weeks ago, I saw Ramya with the two beautiful children. She came in the car and she said, thank you. The two children also she brought here. Then two children, she went to Sri Lanka and got married. And she, they, in Quebec, not, they came here for not even one year. They have a good job, two daughters in Quebec. They don't know English or French, but they are working. They said, uh, we don't know English or French, but proper, proper English. English or French. But the work what we do, they love us and they give this opportunity to work here in India. I want to thank and praise. Like that, so many, not only the Sri Lankan people, there are so many people, but only I, have, I can tell that you have to come and taste the Lord. If you taste the Lord and the goodness of the Lord, the Lord will give you. And the faith, if you have faith, the Lord will bless you. And uh, brought, the Lord Jesus brought us past one. He said, Why are you doing this? 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 Why are you doing this
பெரிய காலையில் செய்யும்படியாக இந்த மூன்றிய பிரதேசத்தை நிலவச்சிருக்கிறது கியூபே பிரதேசத்தை நிலவச்சிருக்கிறதுக்காக அதை நான் சொல்லிக்கிறேன் to Canada. And secondly, I want to thank the Tamil pastors here, especially Pastor Benjamin, Pastor Jaya, and Pastor Arul. Pastor Benjamin called us to do the ministry. Pastor Jaya gave this place for us to start, and Pastor Arul always encouraging. All the pastors have been like that. But I want to especially thank for them, and thank the Lord Jesus Christ. He brought us here, and he helped us to start whatever the God wants us to start. I want to thank him. She wanted to short up the, the meeting and the story and she wanted to stop the my story going on, going on, going on because uh, that's why she jumped into the in between my story but the last part I have. <laughs> we went to Toronto, whole family, to find the decision to place the accommodation place we have to find out. So we sit, sat down with the, with the Pastor John uh, Vijay Ratnam to discuss with the, the accommodation, the apartment, basement, somewhere. That's discussion. God works. Why do you think like that? Our hearts so broke, was broken. Without any decision, final decision, we came back with the crying heart, with the tears, broken hearts, and in between, in, in Toronto to Montreal, in, 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 inside the car, we decided because of the like that situation, we are not moving to Toronto. I don't know how we decided. Over one year we work out that decision. But that is God's plan. Is that God had. He between Pastor John and us, he made some complication completely stopped. I see. Like he, he did in the in, in, in Parao's hearts. How he was hard melted and hearted, melted and hearted. So we started. So we started this ministry. Continue. That name came to with this verse, Philippians chapter two, verse five. All the sister, all the brother, this should know. All us. What is our church? Oh, decided to finally, Pastor Jaya and the team. Our team said, no, we are not uh, going to go with your church. We want to separate and do this. Uh, that matter, they said, okay, now your six-month six month grace period is, was over. So you have to come to down here. You have to pay for us to rent. So that grace period, because we are not to... Not to not to join, not to, with, them. join with them, so they make a rule for us to. So yes, yes, okay. Give us to the lease and things and that. We came to down, and this this same time came to the what the church name, what kind of church name we have. Those these words uh, came to my mind. Those fasting and prayer time, but I never thought that come become going to become uh, is the name of the church. Is Philippians chapter two, verse five, seven. Christus Jesus wahan se tula tibu sita dubla tula tibiwa. Sister Rosie, you have English words. Oh yeah, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Christus wahan se tibu sita, the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ to desire that hearts need to every believer, every pastor to do proper ministry for the glory of Lord Jesus. So that name came to this church, heart of Jesus Christ. So this so after that, so many stories going on, going on, going on, I want to, no, I don't want to give to all the description. We have to go next part, but just I want to mention, when we come to the, we want to become a church. So first administrator here, church administrator, Brother Mishwar, Brother Mishwar Ingham here. So he, he, he is our first administrator, first for the sister Tamara, our second, our treasurer. But the Rakshan became a vice president, still, now he's going to move. So after that, the Chandra became a secretary. So Golda came, then Apostolic Church, we are. We were joined with them, 
we are joining right now with the Apostle Church in Canada in God's Pugilate. And for the John also. Now, other things I have to say and come. Our vision and passion also changed. Just on listening her became a multi-language, multicultural. It's happening also more with a miraculous matter with the brother Joel Aziz. He, we he start to come to our church. Uh, he's a he's from Syria. He's speaking Arabic, his mother tongue. So that's the first start for that change in our pattern. Then suddenly, Brother John and Sister Lily, Brother Ramesh, brought us to very surprisingly. So they are from India. So they mostly use in English, but they heart, their hearts has a passion has with the Hindi speaking people. So they brought to the brother Shachin and sister Shalini for us. Then after the brother Stefan Chon. So these are the community start to the spread other with other languages. Now we are not just single church. We are multi-language, multi-cultural church. Mostly we are speaking, conducting service in English, but in my heart desire, there has to be come pastors, has to come to pastors to hear to preaching is Hindi, preaching French, preaching Spanish, preaching another language also. Start their own churches. Tamil also. You always tell it to Mother Bhavan, start your own ministry. Still <laughs> Oh, yes. As well, yes, that's the Lord Jesus our desire. Wonderful. Thank you for listening. Our long story is not finished. It's a long story. Thank you. <laughs> so we have a 